Conditions have gone from bad to worse for Honolulu's projected budget shortfall, rail project, and COVID outlook. But the man recently elected to take the helm as mayor in January says he's ready to take on the challenges. Mayor-elect Rick Blangiardi spoke one-on-one -on -one with our Gina Mangieri. I asked Blangiardi about the seemingly insurmountable big-ticket problems and the financial austerity that he says is in store. Oh, the changes just a few weeks can bring. In the time since Rick Blangiardi won the mayor's race November 3rd, rail's budget gap grew at least a billion dollars. And no one yet knew the city budget had at least a $400 million hole in it. Do you still want this job? And how are you going to get through those huge, huge hurdles? You know, that's a great question, Gina. Yes, I very much want the job. That said, you know, the, the, the hill keeps getting higher, right? So the combination of losing not only P3, but the jeopardy that we're in with the federal government from the FTA of the 250 million, the lack of GET, all of these things have compound effects, not the least of which is the shortfall in the budget itself. Blangiardi met today for the first time with the Caldwell administration's fiscal department, which will be well into the first draft of next year's budget when Blangiardi is inaugurated. We'll have about a month to try to see what we can possibly do to adjust to come up with a budget that we feel we can live with for 22. Will it be a year or more of austerity of some kind, do you think? Yes. Because there's a lot of landmines in there. Chief among them, the steeply escalating debt service costs. Yes. Hi, uh, escalating quicker than just about any other okay. line item budget. You know and what? it gets worse with rail. Well, you know what, Gina, you just used the right word. It is about austerity. I said throughout the campaign we'd have to belt tighten. I know that we get our revenue, as we all know, from property taxes. We've made a promise we will not raise property taxes. We're going to have to learn to live within our means. You've Got your first responders, your police and your fire departments are your biggest payrolls, but they're really important to our public safety. You know, this is going to be a real, real challenge here, given, this, given the numbers. We're not trying to move around thousands. We're moving around millions, and in fact, hundreds of millions. All this while COVID rates are on the upswing again, and the county is stuck in tier two. For some businesses and people, they're okay. They're already open, or they're at least a little bit open. Others, like bars, like kids playing sports right. they really don't have an end in sight on this thing at least not in the near future no i don't think we can get to tier four anytime soon i've talked to doctors about this i don't had an official briefing and you know by uh, quote unquote the medical team advising the mayor right now um but bottom line is i believe on maui and on on the big island of hawaii the sports the kids are playing local sports over there in fact they're inviting Honolulu teams in fact all the bars are open on Kauai and maui and on the big island so many th businesses have been declared non-essential have been really suffering i think there's room for movement there i think there's room for movement in kids playing sports as well in continuing coverage this week, the mayor-elect weighs in on the other day-to-day -day obligations he'll have as mayor to ensure a safe, clean, and healthy city, how accountability and transparency will be handled under a Blangiardi administration, and his goals for year one. Gina Mangieri, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.